there. This is your host, Miss Marcami, and welcome to another episode of MC Show. Today we are going to talk about how many versus how much. The difference between those two question words. Number one, how many? Used for nouns that you can count. Let's look at four examples together. The first example that we have is about people. You can easily count one person, two people, three people. You can count students in a class, 29 students, for example. You can count one mother and one kid or one mother and two kids. You can count easily people like grandparents. I have one grandmother and one grandfather or I have two grandmothers and one grandfather. And you can also count people in general, like a husband and a wife. Then you have the aspect of whole pieces of food. If you look at the images, you can see that there are five eggs. So you can count those eggs. One egg, two eggs, three eggs, four eggs, five eggs. You can also count strawberries. Right now, you see there is only one strawberry, but you could easily tell that you have five strawberries that are on the table. You can also count peppers. You have on the picture one red pepper and one green pepper. Together, they are two peppers. You see also bananas and cupcakes. These are, again, very easily countable. So you can say that you have six bananas at your house and that you bought a dozen of cupcakes. The next aspect is things. If you look at the pictures, you can see cars, clothes, school supplies, candles, and balls. These are things that you can count. If you look at it, you can see that there are two cars on the streets. You can also see that there are two t-shirts or two polos, one white t-shirt and one beige t-shirt. In total, there are two polos. You can also see that there are two pens on the picture, so these are easily countable just like the balls and just like the candles. So usually objects are things that you can count. Finally, you have the aspect of animals. You can count easily in a farm the quantity of animals there are. You can say that there are 20 cows, there are 10 sheep, 10 chickens, and three dogs in the farm. You can also say that in your house, you have two pets, so a cat and a dog. So you can really count animals easily. So this is how we use how many when we use things that we can count. Number two, how much? Used for nouns that you cannot count. Let's look at four examples together. The first example is liquids. If you think about it, it is very difficult to count the quantity of water you have in an ocean. That is the reason why liquids are impossible to count. This is something that you can't physically have in your hands for you to count. Same thing goes with milk or same thing goes with butter. There is in no way any chance for you to just separate these things. Then, if we continue, you can see smaller than or as big as rice. If you look at the pictures, you can see that there is a bag of flour, a bag of sugar, a bag of rice, a bag of oats, salt, and pepper. As you know, these are all made out of small, small grains. So, 
Unless you are a very, very motivated person, it would be almost impossible for you to count how many grains of sugar there is in a big, big bag. Same goes for salt and peppers. It is so fine and so small that it's almost impossible for you to count. So that is why we consider this uncountable. You can say a pinch of salt, you can say a cup of rice. You can say a big bag of sugar, but you can never say, oh, I have 300,000 grains of sugar in my bag. It just makes no sense. If you continue, you have the next section. You have to cut it to eat it in a civilized way. What do we mean by that? Have you ever seen a person just eat a whole bread without even cutting a slice? This is what we mean by it. You can say, of course, there are many breads, but in the matter of fact is, you usually cut slices of bread. Same thing goes for ham. You've never seen someone eat a whole ham on their own. We usually have portions of the ham. So this is something that it is very difficult to eat without cutting. That's why it is considered uncountable. Cheese, cake, and fish are all things that are very, very big or can be big and usually are not just eaten on the whole. We usually have slices or pieces of all of them. That's what we mean by in a way to eat it in a civilized way. We've never seen someone just chuck their face in a cake. Then, the last example is things you cannot hold in your hands. For example, l light, air, money, furniture. This is something you can't hold in your hand, light. Have you ever tried to turn off the light and try to catch it? No. Same thing goes for air. You can't just catch the air you breathe. It's something that's not uh, noticeable and that's not touchable. money ah this is where you're gonna you're gonna tell me but miss you can say i have 20 dollars yes you can count dollars but there is no way for you to say one money two money three money that is why this is uncountable you can have money in your hand but you can have a quantity such as a 100 dollars two dollars in your hand how much can tend to be difficult sometimes to understand but you really have to keep in your head the thought of can I count this or can I not count this if it's something that's not possible to count I will use how much if it's something that yes is possible to count you will use how many <laughs>